Hello everyone, my name is Nathaniel and I'm going to show you how to create a repeating texture using Photoshop. The first thing you need to do is find a texture you want to make into a repeating texture. Um, after you've found one that you like, you can just open it in Photoshop. After you've opened up in Photoshop, there's a good chance it won't be square, so you need to crop it down to a square size. After you've cropped it down, the next thing to do is open up your image size dialog box. You can access that from the image menu under image size and reduce this down to uh, easily divisible size, something like 1024 by 1024. Next double click on the background layer and just hit OK. Next, right click on the layer and duplicate it. Just hit OK. The next thing you need to do on the top layer is go up to Filter Menu, Other, and then Offset. And because I made my picture 1024 by 1024, that divide it in half is 512. Put that in the horizontal and vertical uh, boxes and hit OK. After you've offset the top layer, you need to go down to the Add Layer Mask box or icon down here at the bottom of the layers and click that. Using a brush, you can actually paint out the layer mask to reveal the underneath layer and blend the two between the two of them. This will help create the illusion that this is a seamless texture without having to erase anything. Continue blending the two layers together until you get a natural look between the two of them without any of the seams. This will allow for easier uh, repeating textures uh, later on in the tutorial. At this point you can stop the tutorial so that you can finish this on your own time and feel free to start up the tutorial when you're finished. After you've finished blending the layer, you'll need to flatten the image. You can do that by right clicking on the layers and selecting the very bottom and hit flatten image. Once it's flattened you'll have to go back up to the filter menu down to other and back to offset. Don't change anything and hit OK. This should return your image to the settings it was when you first started. But now that you've created the blend all the edges will seamlessly blend with the rest of it. In order to test your pattern to make sure that it repeats correctly, you'll need to convert this into a pattern. So go up to the Edit menu, select Define Pattern, name it whatever you'd like, and hit OK. This creates a pattern up in Photoshop. Next, create a new layer and fill it with a color. It doesn't really matter. Any color will do. Next, double click on that layer and to open up the blending options go down to pattern overlay and select it. This will bring up and cut that layer in a pattern. Go up and click on this pattern icon and select the pattern that you just created. Next scale it down to say 25 percent and check to see how well your pattern repeats. As you can see my pattern repeats very well and I can use this um, in future applications. If you're satisfied with your texture you can delete that extra layer and save your project. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and thanks for watching.